This is the evil mastermind named Jeff. And he is trying to steal this powerful silver Lego piece behind this door. Sounds easy enough. Or is it? I have set up nine deadly traps that get more intense and dangerous as we go. And I'm going to use them to try to stop Jeff and his clone army from stealing the powerful piece. Will I be able to stop the heist? Or will Jeff end up stealing the silver piece? Well, let's find out by setting up trap number one. This is the facility where the silver piece is being protected. Trap one is going to be a ton of security on the outside. And to start off with the security, I built up these two tall towers. I placed one of them on this side of the table and the other one on the other side. Now these two towers are technically giant sensors. If anything goes in between them, the two towers will detect the movement and send a signal to the facility. And the turrets that we're going to build in just a second will target whatever moved past the two towers. Now this is turret number one. It uses a spring-loaded shooter that you push down on the back of it to pretty much fire at anything. This is turret number two, and it is a spinning arm turret. And it also uses another spring-loaded shooter. The third turret is an all-terrain vehicle turret, and this one has a stud shooter on the top of it. You just click this button, and it fires. I also built a fireball turret that I'm going to attach on top of the facility. And the final turret is this large turret thing. I don't know what to call it. But I'm able to attach it to this rail right here. So it can move across the entire rail guarding the front entrance. Now with tons of defenses guarding the facility, I think we need a lot more. So I built two jacked looking security guards and I gave one a mini gun and I gave the other whatever you call this crazy turret gun thing. I put the guard with the mini gun at the front entrance and the other guard is going on top of this watchtower. So we can fire at any intruders from way up high. Speaking of intruders here comes jeff and his clone army right now jeff almost walked right through the sensor towers but just before he did he noticed them he picked up one of his clones and fully yeeted him right through the sensors now jeff seeing his clone literally burnt to a crisp he told the rest of his clones to knock down the towers and that's exactly what they did they took down both the towers destroying them and now with the towers down jeff's army proceeded forward but obviously all the turrets saw them knock down the towers so the all-terrain vehicle turret charged after them and it fired at them knocking out another clone and when a jeff clone is destroyed they will eventually vanish the turret vehicle was not finished with them yet but jeff had other plans and jumped straight Straight at the turret. He landed right on top of the turret and ripped the gun right off. The first turret was destroyed. But while he was distracted, one of the other turrets had already locked on him. And it fired instantly. But Jeff saw it coming, so he jumped off the turret, barely dodging the bullet. And Jeff was safe, but it took out a bunch of his clones behind him. And he watched those clones disintegrate. Now Jeff was angry, so he told his army to swarm everything. And that is exactly what they did. They were taking out turrets left and right, but they were also being shot by something else. The guard on top of the tower. Jeff saw the guard shooting at all of his clones, so he chucked his blade right at the guard, taking him out. Two of the clones destroyed the turret on the rail, which meant the only thing still standing in their way is the guard with the minigun. He used his minigun to try to keep him away, but Jeff took out the guard pretty easily. So they obliterated the entire security system. One of the clones took the guard behind the facility, and then Jeff and the rest of the clones entered the building. Welcome, Jeff, to level two. Your objective is simple. Break open the door in front of you. Once you do that, you can advance to level three. Good luck. Jeff ordered his clones to break open the door. So some of Jeff's clones went to see if they could get the door open. But while they're trying to get the door open, the floor suddenly collapsed which is all a part of trap number two, the compactor. They fell in between these two large pieces of wood, and the wood started to close in on them. But he realized he could use his sword to help him to try to climb out. He stuck his blade into one side of the wood and climbed out. But the rest of the clones that don't have a sword weren't that lucky. And the wooden walls came closing in on them, squishing them all. But we are not able to get Jeff, because he was able to climb out safely. 
While Jeff was in the compactor, the clones were able to break open the door, and they all went through the door. Now it's time to set up trap number three. Now right now it's pretty simple. They just have to walk to the other side to get to the door. We just need to place down this item. Now you might be asking what this item is. This is a sticky glue trap, which are supposed to catch mice. Let's see if Jeff and his army can get across the sticky trap and into the next room. Jeff forced the clone in the front to walk on the trap. And the clone listened to him and he sadly walked over to the trap. And while he was walking over there, the rest of the clones saluted. He approached the sticky trap and then he jumped right into it and he was completely stuck and he fell over face first right into it and now that Jeff clone is sadly stuck there forever. That's when Jeff had a brilliant idea. He was gonna have his clones make a clone bridge right over the sticky trap. He needed two more clones to get into the trap. And he chose these two in front. So they walked over to the sticky trap. Then the first clone jumped on the clone in the sticky trap. And he hopped into the sticky trap and fell face forward. Then the next one came along hopping on the last two clones. And he hopped in as well and also fell face forward. And now they have made a bridge for Jeff and the rest of the clones to get across. Then he told the rest of his clones to hop onto the other side as well. And while they did that, Jeff walked over to the door and went into the next room. And at first, this room doesn't seem so bad. Except for one thing. This is the deadly laser maze. So Jeff ordered one of his clones to test the laser to see how dangerous it actually is. And the clone walked over to the laser. He walked into the laser and completely started burning. It completely burned his face and he fell to the ground. Now Jeff knew how dangerous the laser really was. But Jeff is a parkour master so he started by jumping over the first laser. Then he jumped over the second and third laser. He slid under the next laser and he flipped over the last two getting to the other side. And Jeff walked into the next room. Now the rest of the clones had to get through the laser maze as well. They jumped over the lasers, slid under some, and got to the end and went to the door. But one of the clones wasn't so careful and he accidentally jumped into the laser and he was burned by it as well but the rest of the clones were able to make it to the next room they entered the next room with the next trap and it is a very interesting one it is the subscriber detector all it does is detect if you are a subscriber to master builders if you are it turns green but if you're not it turns red and what happens next you'll just have to find out for yourself now jeff knew he wasn't a subscriber so he demanded that one of his clones would go up instead but all of the clones were too scared to do it so jeff took matters into his own hands and grabbed one of the clones and chucked him onto the platform and then the room went silent jeff and his army watched as it detected his clone and he was not a subscriber so, he gets launched all the way to space. And that Jeff was gone forever. Then he asked if anyone was subscribed to raise their hand. And one of them did. Jeff commanded him to walk on the platform, and he did. Then the machine started detecting him, and he was a subscriber. So now they are allowed to pass. Once Jeff saw it green, he quickly ran across the platform to the other side. And the rest of his clones followed as well to the next room. For this trap, I set up not one, not two, not even three, but four mouse traps. I also set up walls on both sides so they have to go through the traps. Jeff knew exactly what to do to get past this one. Use his clones again. He grabbed one of his clones and chucked him as hard as he can right onto one of the traps. And now the Jeff clone is stuck in the trap. Now they only have three traps to get through. Jeff asked if there were any volunteers to go next. And one of the clones actually raised his hand. So they watched as he went over to the mousetrap. The clone saw his other clone friend stuck there and knew he was going to be next. Now he was ready to do it, so he jumped and landed on the trap. Because he hit that trap, it actually flung and deactivated the other two traps. So now there is a clear path to get to the next room. But that clone was sadly not so lucky as well. Jeff and his army walked over to the next door and proceeded to the next room. There is this tube right here that is a walkway to the next room. So all they have to do is walk inside of it and it'll lead them to the next room. Jeff and his army went over to check it out. Jeff peeked inside of it to see if there was anything sus about it. He still didn't trust it though, so he told his clones to go in first. And they started to walk into it. Come on guys, it's fine. <laughs> The tube was not a walkway to the next room. It was actually a vacuum. And it started to pull the minifigures into it. 
Jeff was trying to run as fast as he could, but he was getting pulled closer and closer to the vacuum. But then he saw there was a random button that appeared. So with all of his might, he jumped over to the button and pressed it. Once he clicked it, the vacuum deactivated. Jeff and his clones survived, but a bunch of them didn't make it. And now a giant hand picked up Jeff and all of his clones, taking them to the next room. <laughs> now this is the next trap. Jeff and his clones have to get to the door on the other side. I will give you one hint. Watch your step. The clones saw the door on the other side, so they began to walk to it. But they didn't watch their step because they tripped on some trip wire. One of the clones tried to do a flip over it. Uh, that didn't work. One of the clones looked up and saw something terrifying. A giant saw. <laughs> Jeff jumped to the other side trying to stay away from the saw, and it came down on all the minifigures that tripped. And they were all gone. I actually found some of the pieces to the clones. Now the door on the other side was actually fake. It was just a test. And the giant hand picked them up to the final spot. They were placed down right in front of the silver piece. They had finally made it. The clones all ran to the piece surrounding it. But Jeff could tell something was off. It was a fake. He yelled at his clones to run, but it was too late. The flamethrower turned on. Jeff quickly jumped off the platform they were on and it began melting the rest of Jeff's clones and the fake silver piece. The fire spread throughout the entire platform and all six of Jeff's last clones were all burnt to a crisp. And while that was happening, Jeff was falling and he hit the ground below the platform. He looked around and surprisingly, there was a door down there. He quickly ran to it and hopped through. <coughs> And there was the silver piece. The real one this time. Jeff had survived all of the traps and he used all of his clones to protect him from the traps. And now it was right in front of him. And once he gets it, nothing can stand in his way. Oh, did I forget to mention I had one extra secret trap? The giant boulder? that will crush any minifigure. And that was the end of Jeffrey Brickman III. Thanks for playing my game, Jeff. But your reign of terrorism is over. And now, no one will dare to try to steal the silver piece. And the guards will protect the silver piece at all costs. Except, the guard was the real Jeff. The real Jeff was the one that took the guard behind the facility at the beginning of the video. He had changed suits with another clone to trick us all. He pushed over the boulder. He put on his suit. And walked straight to the piece. And now nothing was standing in his way. And he used the silver piece to teleport to another reality. And he was gone. Comment down below where you think he went.